Let me share screen number two here. So I had this idea of looking at Mayan temples because there's a couple of different artists to look at. Number one was, hold on a minute, let me go back to Google here. And if you type in interior, Mayan temples, uh, there's this piece of work here that I've seen before. It's from a DreamWorks artist, Seth Ingstrom, who did this really nice piece right here. Um, and it was very uh, nice Mayan feel to it. And I really like that. I mean, you could almost just imagine this location here with a chair there and gold around it and it's done. And then based off of that, here was sort of another, um, another thing that I had saw was this type of feel. And then I really like this too. This is a little bit more Samoan based architecture, but somewhat similar a little bit different, but again, it's the symmetry, the sculptures in there. So that gives me some good ideas. It's the stones that I really like. Um, in fact, what I'll do is in case this helps you guys, I'll grab this down as reference. And I'll just grab some of these images real quick. I'll put these in here. So for my 119 students, if this helps to guide you a little bit. Um, I don't want to let's go large. Let me just get a version of that. Come on. Oh, it doesn't want me to see. Did it drag it? Nope. It's not letting me drag the image. Let's save as. Let's try that. Um, what do we put reference by in? Ooh, it's giving me 666 symbol. That's not good. So you won't let me save it. I have to go back like this and grab it and drag it. It is cursed, right? It's like I will give you the sign of the devil. So that's interesting. Again, look at that Mayan reference. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful. Look at the side angles there. And then I'll put that and I'll save that. Um, I'm All of a sudden I hit a jackpot here. That's a good reference too. Look at that. So this is when you get into Polynesian temples. So I might grab some of that too. Um, that's pretty cool. So hold on a minute. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, it brought me back. Now I'm off the search. So let's get off of that. Let me type in that Polynesian. Paul, how do you spell that? There it is, Polynesian. Let me get tattoo designs. Take that off. Type in interior temple. Maybe let's try art. There, that's pretty cool, that reference there. Um, let me go back to, so here's other reference I found for the Mayan temple. This is great because I'd found this earlier when I was looking at this, it's original sculpture from Mayan temples underground. So that's really nice reference there. Um, and they have this, even though this is older, they have the illustration of it that an artist did right there. You see it? They filled in the blank. So when you look at that, let me see if that won't go any larger. When you look at that piece there, you get this reference. So that's really golden for like some back room decor um, elements that you could have in there. Let me see if there's anything else. It doesn't look like there is. So let me come back and type in Mayan temples there. These are exterior shots, Aztec temples. Let me check out the Polynesian. Oops. Polynesian, let's see what we have here. Images. Um, and I'm not really coming up with what I want. That's cool. Reference, a large sculptor. That's awesome. That's a great reference. 
That's neat too. Tiki symbol, Polynesia. Moana voyages, right? That's cool. That's cool. And now we're getting into some art. That's neat too. There we go. Yeah, that's not really, I don't think there's enough temples done with that specific search. Let me back up a couple of threads here and see what else. I think that's good for now. I have enough to sketch off. Okay, cool. And then the Mayan temples, let's see, let me see if you all, there's, where's that one front, the real stone front, that one. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get that larger. Yeah, there we go. Look at that detail on there. See that? Isn't that really neat? Look at the mouth and like the face and all that. That's great reference. That's a Mayan, really nice temple. That's really nice. And I saw another angle of that rotated here. There we go. That's interesting. Looks like that's a whole nother different entrance too. Let's make that a little bit larger. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let me steal that. Nope. So let me snip it. One second, snipping tool. I will take that, that's good reference. There, let's file, save as, that image front. And I'll put that in my uh, folder, my reference save. Okay, let's start sketching a little bit. And let me see if there's anything else back there. So. All right, that's cool. Let me close those. All right, I'm gonna start sketching now just for a little bit. I'll just start with a couple of thumbnails. And I know some of you guys are working, but I got nothing else to do the next hour. So I'll just draw for a little bit. All 
my Maya reference over here so I can look at some stuff. Why does it do this where it only opens up one image? Can it be like a PC? I mean, a Mac. Come on, just open up all of them in one window. When I click it, only one opens. All right, it's opening. It might be a code. It might be just one individual. Let me just look at a couple of these. There we go. I can go through them. That's pretty cool. I like the stairs, how that's separate. It's one point shot. Yeah, let me move my reference to the side and then I'll start sketching a couple ideas. So uh, immediately with this temple, the idea that I had is it has to be an offset like one point because you only have two options. You either have to have it like this or there's one vanishing point in the middle and it's coming towards you. That's option number one. Option number two, is it gets offset like this. And that looks okay if it's offset. The only problem is, is that if we widen our frame a little bit, this angle gets really sort of like acute right here, which doesn't quite feel right. So it's a little bit easier to make that what we call an acute angle, a non-acute angle by introducing another VP. So I have a VP, let's say off the page here, I have a measuring line about there and I have a point here. That means I'd have lines like this then I'd have lines starting to come back in like this, a vanishing point. And I sort of like that construction better. I think that's a better idea to have those light angle tilts in it. So let me just go with that. So make my brush a little bit smaller and just draw out my thumbnail. And then I can come back and change ceiling or anything a little bit later, or reframe around the piece. So I'm going to go for a point being maybe about there and here just to be safe. Hold on, I had another layer. I already deleted it. Let me go back. There we go.
So I'm reframing it out a little bit more because I like that feel of that room. Just want it out a little bit further. So I should have done this on a second layer, but I didn't, that's all right. Just erase it. Back out here now. Establishing that center line of the room really quick so I know exactly where it is. I'm a little bit off. It, should, it looks like it could be about there. I started having this idea that there could be large pillars making up these walls. Look at reference real quick too. What a difference distortion makes. This line here in front of me over here would be about there. And that totally changes the slant of that object. And I had it coming out past and then curving down. So that would be about there, which means there'd be a straight line to about there. Here, straight line there, down. Then it would curve down if we follow that curve where it ends right there. It would be about there.
gonna go straight. All right, um, hold on a minute. I got marks all over my, my ruler, all over the screen. Let me erase these. All right. Stairs drawn correctly. Out, down, out. Down, out, down.
I'm trying to get the stairs in there and my just the thickness of my pen keeps chunking it up. Uh, might recalibrate in a minute. It's all chunky.
got to admit, I really like drawing at home more than here <laughs> because these Cintiqs in here, calibration never works well for some reason with all the PC crap the school puts on it. I always have problems getting lines to be exact. The software and stuff that we run. Seem to have better luck at home. Here, it's like everything's off by like the 16th. And I calibrate it and still feel like there's not much change. So for this throne room, because of the architecture, I'm really designing the room itself first to get that Mayan type of feel, you know, with those heavy blocks and the, you know, that's what I really liked looking at the reference. That's what I picked up out of it. Um, it's a little straight lined. So I sort of like the idea if if you guys are still with me, I might take this and pop this out a little bit more because it, it's really hard to get stairs in there and the throne. See that? It's almost too, not quite enough. So because of that, there's not quite enough depth there to get to elevate that position. What I might do is then bring this forward. So I might come over here and make a mark about there and just eyeball it on the other side and make a mark about there. And then I think I'll bring that forward and then I'll round it, if that makes sense. And then I'll might emphasize, make it look a little bit more important if it's rounded. So about there, like so, use that center line like that. That might even be too much, but let's see if I can pull it off. actually not too bad. And
have to square that off to make it easier. Let's drop my ruler.
My ruler slipped and I'm off there. All right, I don't know if you guys online, you might be working or whatnot. And, or uh, that's, do you see how I have that much of the throne room drawn out now based off the Mayan architecture? And now it's just the details. It'd be me finishing up the pillars. I might finish some of these uh, building block ideas. I just realized I'm off on here. When that goes away. No, hold on a minute. That's the interior wall. That line's gonna come up there. It's gonna be very skinny here. That's weird. Did it cut out and crash? Well, the screen's not up anymore. You're so it was screen. right, and it must yeah. have crashed. That's really weird. When? How long did it crash for? Just just recently. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. You made cool. a comment about you know what you were gonna you know you were gonna start back in on it, and then it crashed. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it it Zoom's really buggy lately, man. I don't know what's going on. I didn't know how long it crashed for. If it was like a long time or a short time. So I was trying to figure it out. All right, thanks, so Phil, Mark. So Phil, it's okay to do these like little thumbnails, right? To figure out. Yeah, do you see how oh, I figured okay, cool. out the room yeah. now? All right. But, no, I thought we had to start with like props and you know try to figure that kind of stuff it, out. It, it's just a different approach. Sometimes you can start with props. Sometimes you can start with the room. Okay. I, I was really looking at the Mayan. What I, this weekend I was sitting around and I was watching something on TV and they're talking about there's this thing on called ancient civilizations and they started talking about mayans and i was looking at the big blocky shapes and they were saying that there might even be tombs that nobody's seen you know what i mean mm. and then that got me thinking of like wow that's almost like our assignment you know what what if there are these like tomb rooms and no one's ever even seen them before you know and then mm. i i just started i don't know that sort of stuck with me and i was wanting to go into this and start carving out this big blocky shape. Now, part of me, I could tell you right now, just by looking at this, part of me wants to pull out again. I can't go past this wall line here. Part of me wants to come in and do this now and widen it a little bit. Cause then I get a little bit more room on the left side, which means more foreground elements. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, easy to do. Let me just erase this now. Erase. And I'm going to widen it out. Oops, how big am I? Um, yeah, I think it's, I could widen it to about here, I'd say. And that still works. I still get a good feel of the room because now I could have another pillar or something here. I could have something here. I could have something hanging in the foreground, which means this would be foreshortened with it hanging there like, you know, old, not rope, but, you know, like vines or something to give that feel. And then I could go in, I had this idea of, and I'm a little bit off here, I might need to adjust it. 
I my middle line's going, I guess that's not it's almost on. I, I adjusted this a little bit too much. Let me fix these. This should have gone over a little bit more and then I fixed it and went the wrong way. So that should be about there. I'm judging by this, went up one. Let me fix that. So I wanna get that center line in there pretty accurate. So that would be this curve comes up to about there. And then, yeah, but if this, if it's easier for you to do the room like this, this is what I was talking about before about you guys can design the room, figure the room and then plug in. And, but there's still a benefit of doing the sketches of the props. If you have the props sort of identified and you know what they're gonna look like, that's gonna save you time. There. Yeah, um, so doing the props first just helps with like the set dressing and stuff, right? Exactly. Okay. But you don't have to think about it later. You could just, like I've done this location before. So mm -hmm. in the back of my head, I sort of know what the props would look like. Mm -hmm. Gotta have this weird part. I can't get my line in there without, there it goes. Anyway, that feels better now. I have a little bit more room on that side to get in because I, I, I was looking at that reference and I really like the idea of there being some type of decoration or guy that's, you know, maybe evil up here that's in that Mayan. I'm just sketching it real fast. If you can imagine something like this behind it, you know, that would really make it. Now I have, let me not use all my undo's real quick i'll do it on another layer so now now that i have the basis of the room i could go in there and start thinking about having where the treasure would be i could have uh mounds of gold in the front i have this idea a little bit here let me see if this will pull off maybe this dips down and there's like water like you know like this comes down a little bit off this edge. And dips a little bit more there. Maybe running water on the inside. I don't know. This is throwing out some ideas. But I, I like the way this is feeling already. It has like an old sort of feel to it, you know. But there's a lot of bit, quite a bit of distortion going from one side to the other. What were you thinking about, like putting in like the left area, the, the space there? But were you thinking of closing it off with a wall or like? So, what I thought about doing is like imagine there'd be like a line going this way and this way. This mm. would be walkway, and then this would be open. So, I could put in, you know, I could get in here and maybe I have another support coming up, and then I could like have stuff sort of hanging on the side. Hold on a minute, let me erase this. That's why I should have put the frame on another layer, but I didn't think about it. Let's dive into the sketch. So what I was imagining would be like another pillar here 
I might put a beam going from here to here. And then I was imagining like a pile of gold here in the foreground. And then just putting it in chunks, like maybe around here, there's a pile up here. Maybe there's something in the back, but then I thought it could be like a cool statue or two on the side. Um, there could be gold and stuff sitting up there. And then down here in front of this, there could be like a walkway of old stones. And then it could be more gold sort of here. And then it might be the same thing sort of here, a pile of gold, some up here, some back here. That was it like that, if that makes sense. Yeah, but okay. I'll, adjust, cool. I'll adjust those piles after the room itself is sort of done. Because then I could go into the room and make other changes since that all on another layer, right? So I my big thing is just getting the room sort of flushed in now. Let me, oops, let me copy and paste this. Where to hit something and it froze. I had the idea like right here. So I can do it in another layer, get it nice and clean. There'd be uh, like the butt pots. These pots that come up like this. And I'm right under the horizon line. So it's really tight. Like that. You know, the ones you burn stuff in. Yep, yep. So you, it could be like that. Hold on, that lips is a little off angle in there. That's a little bit better. And that one blocks the, I can get it probably about there. Oops. 
a little bit of a tendency there, but that's okay. Because then I might also have some hanging down too, is sort of the idea. I know it's a mistake I just did. Let's see if I can fix it. That should be tucked in the corner, overlapping a little bit like that. All right, and then now I could start thinking about, you know, like other little wall details, treasure, other like butt pots or decorations. What I usually do like this, I've been drawing on this for a little bit, even though it's sort of like a, it's almost like a large rough drawing. Um, I usually go do something else and then come back and look at it with a clear set of eyes to see if I have any perspective problems or issues. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish it because I only got about 20 minutes left. 
So let me just try to, I just don't want to make any mistakes visually. And these designs, these round designs aren't really fitting in there. So this is where I need to go look at, let me pull up my reference. I need to look at my reference and find out they don't have round designs unless they're single objects. So I need to sort of go through, look at reference for a minute. Like those shapes in there. It would have something squared with like a decoration in front of it. And I'll do that instead. All right. Um, actually, I don't even know if I need, if I take those out, does it make or break the composition? See, it doesn't even make or break it, does it? So it's like. Yeah, I don't think I just dump it. Don't even need it. Get these to snail down. All right. See that ended on that wall. This stair is a little off. Let's see if I can cheat it a little bit. A little bit closer.
Oh, those lines are way off. That again, nothing's erasing. Erase. What the hell's going on? Why is nothing erasing? There it goes. That's weird. Massive lag. I wanted this curved ground to sort of come out. But it's really hard getting that perspective in there. It's not bad. A little bit off.
I'm going to cheat a little bit that VP was here, but I'm going to end up pulling it away further and then pull it back a little bit more so I could get little walk segments in here like this. And that's just going to change these angles very slightly. Like that. Okay. So there, I think I have a pretty good room now in terms of the feel of a throne room, the design. I like the wall decorations. I like that little curve in there. Now I would go in there and just start putting treasure and hanging some pots and stuff and seeing what I come up with. Um, let me, I haven't even saved this. Let me do that first. Let's call that line. Make sure it's all in the same layer. I'll tell you what, I think I'll come back and I'll finish that on Thursday because I want to look at some other reference. All right, so here's another idea that I had for overlap shapes. Imagine this, let me save real quick. Bad habit of mine, just get into work, and don't save it. Fills, interior, throne, room. Cap lock is on. And let's save it on my computer and save it desktop. Um, so now that I saved it, I'll just sketch real quick. I want to look at uh, these hanging, like hanging butt pots. It looks sort of like this. Some of them can be very slim. These might have little decoration elements on them. Something like that. equal space doesn't look as good maybe they just need to be simplified like this and then if i have one there I have one hanging up here, maybe a little closer to that wall so it doesn't maybe cheat it about there. Let me double check. So now that I pulled out that VP, let me get a new measuring line in there. Pull it out about there. Yeah, that looks pretty good about there. That's not bad where that hits there. That's about the same height. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oops. I feel like I should have one back here. Uh-oh. 
I need this locked up. Command, command Z, nothing's happening. Control Z. There it goes. Uh, it's too much lag, I think. That still didn't do it. Command Z, go back two steps. Yeah, it's not doing it. My command Z is no longer working, which means Photoshop's probably about to crash. So I was just trying to figure out the height of that. Should come down a little bit more about there. Um, let's take a look at that. The ruler up there. Yep, that's perfect. Even the height is perfect. Excellent. So it might be one bump there, one there. Then if I have that one guy, and if I bring him over, oops. What the hell is going on on my computer right now? Wigging out. Dude. I can't command Z. Hold on. Edit. Is no one do anymore? Let me let me get out of this. But I just put the butt pots in there. Okay, my computer's wigging out right now. I can't even get control of the drawing. I let me try to undo undo layer of visibility. That's right. Let's undo it again. Undo again. Control Z is no longer working. There it goes. Undo move. Okay, now I want layer five. That's a duplicate there. I want to delete the layer. Let's try it this way. Yes, I've only said that five freaking times. Layer four. Hold on a minute. W what line is this layer on? Three. Okay, let me move these together. Let me erase the lines real quick. Let me, whoa. Yeah, hold on. I, I can't even use Photoshop right now. Like nothing's working. It's just merged everything. I, I got it. Hold on. I have to undo. Undo move. Undo transform. Undo move again. How did it just compress everything? Edit, undo paste in place. Ah. Uh, anyway, you get the point, right, Mark? trying to move yeah no that's great you're just like adding the little the props and yeah now i'm building the props and i'll put the treasure i'm thinking of other props but let, look at photoshop just merged all my my line drawing everything into one layer i don't know why i'm undoing pencil see how everything's compressed it's in one layer right now i just didn't want to lose all the pop placement there it is Mark there it is man what a disaster that was okay now all i did was merge these two together ah see photoshop's is not even working i just selected the two layers and merged them all so let me just save it now i'll save as i'm going to save it as a second version i think it's getting corrupt at this point dash two photoshop does this sometimes i just don't so that's why I work in Sketchup Pro a lot of times when I sketch, I don't have the same. Anyway, having those in there. And then another thing I wanted was something on the floor, uh, maybe like a pillar, a raised pillar on the floor, maybe another butt pot, you know, right? Here, let me bring it up, see if it's still working. 
anyway, what's cool is that even with the butt pots rough, I can still do a tonal study on top of that and it'll come together, you know? See, I thought it, look, it even changed. This is how, do you notice how it changed the color of my line? Yeah, like when you started, it was this color, but then when you, the second session, or it got darker. It yeah, I noticed that too. In the second session, it changed the darkness. Now yeah. it reverted it back to the original color. Yeah. I don't know, I can't figure it out. And now I have, let's see, that's on one layer. I erase, let me merge. So this is what's really weird. I have two layers, control E. There, now it's doing it. Before it was completely like separating everything. It's really, really strange. Those together. Let me erase this. Get those little lines in there. That's weird. It totally changed. Because I thought I was tripping out. I thought I'm like, did it, is it me or did it just go to like indigo blue? It like went super rich, you know? Yeah. Copy, paste. That's Photoshop for you. So I wanted a little bit larger, transform. Now everything's working. Tiny bit larger. Because the scale is going to increase. And I'd say it probably hit about there. Looking at this, let me check the edges. That edge to there, that edge to there. That feels pretty good. Now let's go lower. So it's under. I might cheat it a little bit. And you can avoid, like I want to avoid the tangencies. So if I drop it here, I'm take, you can't see this. I'm putting my ruler up. And what I'm doing is, here, I'll go to, to brush so you can see. I'm making sure that line hits that line right there, matching in perspective. It's even drawing weird now. I give up. Look at that line. It just drew. Look at that. Come on, Photoshop. What the hell are you doing? Look at look at the size of my brush. Let me go back to brush. It's doing a jagged line. It just lost all functionality. Wait, are you on the pencil tool or the brush tool? I'm on it. I was on brush. It looks like the pencil tool. It is on the pencil tool. It's it changed. I don't know okay. why. Dude, Photoshop's tripping out right now. Anyway, so let me lower that a little bit more like that, a little bit over like that. So I to me, that's important to do because now I have good placement for those and it feels good in terms of the depth. And then if I could come down here, the last thing I wanted to do is maybe like here, there'd be on this walkway, it comes here. Maybe there's something that jets up a little bit and then a symbol or another pot or something like that. So, or it could just be stone. Like maybe we get here and there's something, that's what I need to figure out. I need to look at some reference. Maybe there's a Mayan head, like with the one with the teeth on it and the weird eyes right here, like that. And if I have one there and I could get along, I could put one over here in the front. So that creates overlap in depth and then I could go in and start thinking about piles of gold and the other elements in there, you know? Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I'll work on that again next class, okay? No, this is great, man, thank you. This sure, and I thought, you know, maybe this would, I was wanting to do something for you guys. So um, this is how I usually do stuff as I, I did this a little bit larger because it's a demo, but I block in stuff quickly. And when I do the block in, then I sometimes leave it alone and I'll show, like if I'm working with a director or somebody, I show them what I'm thinking and see if they're on the same page. Because before I put the detail, if they don't like the block into the room, they want it larger, more expansive, tighter, I can make those adjustments before going forward. And, and like you make those little notes, like those scribbles that you did for the foreground element, you just make quick notes instead of like drawing it in perspective, right? Yeah, as long as I got the base room, yeah. In core perspective, everything else can just be scribbled in and placed and it's a rough drawing. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. All right, I'm gonna let you guys online go and I'm gonna go render this so I can get out of here on time. There's another class coming in in a couple of minutes. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. Please work on your work. Let's not do what we did today where nobody submits work. I don't like that. I, I always want work to be submitted on Tuesdays. Thursdays is the better day to have not work up where I can either draw paint on your stuff or do more demos for you guys. I love doing demos. Just ask me what you want me to do. I'm more than happy to do it for you. Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. See ya. I got to figure